All right, guys. So now we're gonna bring this all together by creating a new reducer and a new actions file. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a new file here called admin actions.js. And in reducers, we're going to create a new file called admin reducer.js. And if we look at auth reducer, we've specified two things. Uh, one is the default state, and then another is uh, a const with the name auth. We're going to create one with the name admin, and it's an arrow function that gets state and action and then determines the action type. We're going to do the exact same thing for the admin reducer. So we're going to create a const called uh, default state, and it is going to be an object uh, with users set to uh, nothing and then posts set to nothing. And then we're going to create a const called admin and we're going to get uh, state. And if we look here, we'll see that, yeah, we do set uh, the state to default state if there's none yet. And then action and then we're creating a switch for action type and then case uh, let's say got users we're going to return dot 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 state and users equals action dot payload and then we're going to put a default statement in here and we'll say return state and then we're going to export default admin so we've got our reducer the one actual thing that we need is uh, this got users function. And if we look at auth actions, we can see how we created uh, the const login here and the const register. So we're going to basically import the API from utils.api in the admin actions. And then we're going to export const um, get users and this is going to be an arrow an arrow function and so we're going to really just get the token and then we're going to call api get users with the token and the res is going to be returned and then we will if I look in actually admin actions, uh, we just dispatched an object within the API call with a type and payload. So we're going to do essentially the same here. So uh, dispatch uh, an object, which is going to be type. And I don't think I had dispatch, right? Because we need to return dispatch in the uh, around the API call. Uh, but anyway, we're going to dispatch got users and the payload is going to be res.data. And then in here we need to return uh, dispatch and then wrap this entire thing in that, just like we did here. And then we can just uh, save admin actions. We're good to go there. And then in the API, we need to create that call, which is get users. So uh, we're going to say get users. We need the token and the success callback. And we're going to run axios.get host slash API slash users and we're going to append access underscore token 
equals and then the token that we're passing in here. Now when this is done, we're going to say then res, we're going to pipe it over to an arrow function and we're going to call success with the result, just like this. Now this is all we need to do from the Redux part, except for combining the reducers. So we see that we've got auth here uh, in auth reducer. We also need to import admin from admin reducer. And then in the combine reducers method, we're going to add admin and we're going to save this. Now, from the standpoint of the back end, I guess you'd call it, this is done. And when it refreshes, if I go into React here and come down to App, we'll see that we've got Auth, and we know we we don't yet have the um, admin control there and that's because we haven't actually added any components that use that so we're going to import connect from react redux and then down here we're going to create our consts of map state to props equals state and we're going to, uh, how do we do it with the app? I think we just, uh, there's a couple different ways depending on how you connect everything. Yeah, we just returned uh, auth equals state auth. So we'll do the same thing here. So uh, return auth is equal to state.auth and admin equals state.admin. And then the map dispatch to props, we actually need to import admin actions. So import all as admin actions from, and then when we think about this, the users file is under pages admin. So we need to go up another level and pages admin, uh, we need to go up one more level. And I believe we have a store directory there, actions, and then admin actions. So there we've got our admin actions. And we're going to create const map dispatch to props, which gets the dispatch property. And we're going to say get users. Uh, actually, we need to return an object. is going to get the token and it's going to dispatch admin actions dot get users and send the token. Now basically what this is doing is giving us uh, giving the users view uh, a prop called get users which dispatches uh, this action right here, which will then connect to the API, send the token and get all the users. So what we need to do is two things. Uh, we need to actually connect it. So connect and then wrap users component. And we're going to pass in map state to props and map dispatch to props. We're going to save this. And then on component did mount, we're going to dispatch that. So we're going to call uh, this dot props dot get users, and we're going to pass in this dot props dot off dot token. And then we'll uh, create a const here of uh, users equals this dot props dot 
admin dot users and then for rows we're going to pass in users as the array so let's save this let's go to the network tab we're unauthorized even with that access token and that's because of the base class for the user uh, method we're going to have to get we're going to have to clear the default ACLs um, because basically if I go to local host at port 8080 which is what we've got it running under and go into the explorer I'm going to set my token and even with the token set if I try and get it will say authorization required uh, and this doesn't mean that we're not authenticated this means that you know nobody can actually ping this users uh, call I guess so what we'll do in order to tie this together is uh, we've I don't think we have any posts in here yet oh we have one post but it just has a title and an ID um, what we'll do is integrate the table view into uh, the posts and so let's go ahead and go into posts here we're going to import uh, table view from up one level up another level common table view and then we're gonna wrap this in a div and then paste oh okay I copied the columns first let's copy that and just say uh, ID and title are going to be the two columns that we're going to get in this table and then we're actually going to embed the table view here drag this h1 element up and I'll need to do this we'll say posts so let's uh, I guess do it this way so const posts equals this dot props dot admin dot posts save that and then in the admin actions we're going to export const get posts with the token we're going to return dispatch api dot get posts. I'm going to pass in the token and get the result and then we're going to uh, dispatch type it's going to be got posts payload is going to be res.data so save this let's go into admin reducer now let's say case got posts return dot 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 state and then posts is going to be action dot payload let's save this and then in api we need to create a new method called get posts which takes in the token and the success method that we've just defined in the admin actions file and then we'll say axios get uh, host slash api slash i think it's a capital p in that route yeah posts and we're going to set the access token equal to uh, token and then we're going to say then with the res or the result we're going to call the success callback with res 
the entire res. So let's save this here. And we've got the reducer, we've got posts, uh, we've got the admin actions. Now we just need to uh, actually connect it to the posts page. So we're going to import connect from react-redux and then import star as admin actions from up one level, another, and another. We're going to go into store actions and admin actions. I think that's the correct number. Yeah, okay. And then we're going to create our const map state to props, which is going to get the state property. And we are going to return auth equals state dot auth and admin equals state dot admin. And this uh, again just determines which app wide state properties are available to this component once we wrap it. And then map dispatch, oh, const map dispatch to props. It's going to get the dispatch function and we're going to pipe it over. We are going to return an object with get posts. I'm going to take in a token and then we're going to dispatch admin actions dot get posts with this token. Now all we have to do is wrap the posts component. So connect and then in the connect method we call map state to props and map dispatch to props and then there's one final thing which is in the component did mount so component did mount we are going to call uh, this dot props dot get posts and we're going to send with it this dot props dot auth token. Now, what we have just done is when this component mounts, the post component, as soon as it does, it calls this function, which dispatches admin actions dot get posts which if I go ahead and open up admin actions, we'll see that here we're going to return dispatch. We're going to call the API to get the posts, which is right here, get posts. And then when this is done, it fires off the success call back, which is right here, which dispatches got posts payload equals res dot data. This gets ported over to the admin reducer, got posts. It gets caught in that switch and then returns posts equals action dot payload. It's important to also include the rest of the state when you update one property. I'm not sure if I ever explained that. If you guys have had any issues, make sure each of your return statements with, within this switch includes the first thing should be dot 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 state. This passes the existing state and then modifies whatever property you're actually trying to set. Uh, this dot props dot admin dot posts is going to get set to this. And then in here, this post will actually, you know, exist then and it will be passed through into the table view as the rows. So I'm going to save this. And when I, when I go to posts, we'll see that the ID is printed out and the title is printed out of our post. So we've just connected these views in a very rudimentary way 
uh, through Material UI's table view as well as our uh, Redux backend. And we're probably going to add some more styles to this. Uh, as we go through, we're going to have a button here where we can actually go ahead and create new posts. So we're going to talk about that uh, within a few videos. And once we can actually create some posts and start adding in multiple fields, we're going to be able to make this table look a lot nicer uh, and more full so you guys can see the, you know, the, the final table version, I guess. Uh, and with users, we need to go back into our loopback API application. And we're going to need to probably add some middleware that when that basically removes the default access control restrictions of users. And then we can apply our own and we'll probably just make it so that only admins can see users. That's probably how we're going to handle that.